Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw tips and tricks. In today's video, it isn't going to be so much about Corel Draw as it is about laying out on a laser bed, but it does involve Corel. I was asked to do 150 of these leather coasters that I picked up at Tandy Leather. And if you don't have a local Tandy Leather, within a doubt you do, uh, Austin, Texas. We have one in the same, the store has been in the same spot since 1969. I've been going there since I was a child. But anyway, I tried to just set them up in the laser bed like you would normally just button them up all the way across, you know, 10 across, three deep. But because they are a product of mother nature and they're flexible and, you know, they're not a machine part. They are been cut out with some sort of leather cookie cutter type deal. But they were a little bit off by the time they'd get over here. So what I did, I, I, you know, had them laid out and I ran a test. Of course, I had them butted up to each other. And I just ran a test and I just selected, you know, that one. Hold down the shift key and selected that one and say this one. And then I ran those with the vector with the door open and it would draw with my red dot pointer. I could see. I was dead on on this one, but when I got over here, I was just a little bit off, and I didn't really feel comfortable running the job because they're paying pretty good money for it, and I did not want to have them not in the center. So all I did, I took a piece of MDF, quarter inch MDF that you can get anywhere. It's a great product for jigs and fixtures and, and exactly what I'm doing here. So I, the coaster is 3.25. So I made the coaster ring now three and a half, which would be an eighth of an inch, a little bit bigger on all the sides. And I just ran the cut job. You know, it's, it's, they've got a red hairline. So I just ran the cut job. And I think I ran it 100 power, but 100 speed. And it just barely marks the surface. I mean, it was, it was really going to town. It marked this in just like a minute. But anyway, you laid it out. And then all you have to do is, lay them out on the on those circles now i could have cut all the way through the mdf but i really don't think it would have helped me because i would have had to been a closer tolerance you know to make that more effective the mb ndf m df does have a charred edge when you burn it with a laser so this is raw leather it would maybe leave a little bit of char on it i didn't want to have to try to wipe them off and, and then they'd be down in a hole. They might be a little bit hard to get out. This was the easiest way, I think, to do it. I mean, they just laid on top of there. MDF is really flat. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have any uh, bow to it or uh, it, it really stays flat. And then I just told it to run, run the job. Now, the only mistake I probably really made, and you can notice I'm not working the top of the bed. You know, I've left this much of the bed open. And that's because of the fact, and particularly with a bigger laser, I've got a Fusion 40. This is, I'm 6'4", and these are pretty deep. You can't really see directly straight down on it. So this would be a little bit harder. And for convenience and being able to see that line all the way around, right on top of it. So I just use this part of the bed. Now, if I was going to, you know, do a... I'm not really into making, 150 is pretty much my max. Uh, I don't like making multiples of things like this, but I went ahead and took this job on for this lady. But this way you could see right down on it. Now, the only mistake I probably made, you know, if I had to do it again, because I started off running two at a time, and, you know, even though it only took like a minute and 23 seconds, and going back to that with lasering raw leather, I found to run it at, 400 dots per inch or even 300 dots per inch it does a really good job and it doesn't leave any burn residue i mean you can see that hasn't been touched i mean there's no burn residue to me whatsoever so the only thing i really did wrong is i've got the spacing between them maybe a little bit too far and what i mean by that well let's just do this um, let me grab one of these and let's just put it up here now I put my nudge factor, I had it on four, so these are, you know, that far apart. But if I did control D now and made a duplicate, they'd be a lot closer together. 
And the important part about that is dead space. The laser is going back. So this is probably the biggest dead space there are, are or is. So get your parallel limp dimension tool and go from that node to that node. And it's 2.81. Okay, let's look at mine, the one I would actually run. Parallel dimension tool. Well, Got to get where I can see two of them. So remember it was 2.81. This is 3.21. Almost, well it's like four tenths of an inch more dead space. You know, even though this took only like nine minutes and I was doing other things today, so it didn't really matter. I was drawing other things, so I'm just sitting there. I don't want to sit there and watch it run. But this would have probably saved me a minute in laser time if I would have just put them a little bit closer. And I don't know if I failed. I might have failed to mention this is, I made the ring 3.5. The coaster is only 3.25. So that way I've got that ring that's just a little bit bigger all the way around. And then I can use that MDF for other projects. I can turn it over because I haven't cut anywhere near all the way through it because I run it, I ran it so fast. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.